I think the players in the league are on the same page. That this needs to be handled as expeditiously as possible. No, I, and I, they are on the same page, but I think that this is still a hammer that they need to, to keep holding in their hand. And you now, wrote about this yeah, before this story came out a couple weeks ago. I right? did, because the players have to make up in their own minds if this is a long process what are we prepared to do now because they they made it clear they don't want him in his league i think it's every intention of adam silver to get donald sterling out of his league what speeds up the process as as we even saw with the case of them deciding to ban him for life is when money starts to be lost and when money starts to be lost that's when I think you will see maybe even Donald Sterling himself and his wife, who keep claiming to everybody that people want them to own the team, maybe that will motivate them oh. to get up out, out of there that much faster. Okay, so then you just clarified it for me. All right, so basically what you're saying is that threat is more for Sterling to, dis to discourage him Absolutely. from fighting for a team that nobody would want to be on. Right. Because I'm sitting up there like, well, why, well, who are the players hurting if they boycott? Because Adam, I think Adam Silver and, it, and the owners realize we need to get him out of here. But there is a process. There's a timeline according to the Constitution. Silver has three days to provide Sterling with the charges. Sterling has five days to respond to the Board of Governors, who will then vote within 10 days of Sterling's response. So in a best case scenario, we're talking about forcing him to sell in mid-May. He's probably going to try to fight it get it blocked, an injunction, whatever. So it's not the, it's not the league's fault that that no. part might take a little longer, so why boycott? No, it's not the league's fault, but Donald Sterling, I, I think, and this was, I told you why it was always hard for me to, to dare I say, root for the Clippers, mm -hmm. or because I always knew who they were playing for the benefit of. They may be playing for each other, right? but all that concession money, parking money, it's going to Donald Sterling. Right. So my thing is, the Clippers players, if I were them, as long as he's owner, I would not put on that uniform okay. at all. The one good thing Sterling did intimate is that maybe it's not worth fighting. But he'll probably forget he said that.